Alright, so real quick, this is the start of the video of the calibration of the extruder on the TiVo Tornado, the gold model 2018 edition. Um, so one of the first things we're going to need to do is just grab our calipers and zero it out. So make sure we're completely zeroed. Let's take that to 110 millimeters. The reason why we're going to go to 110 millimeters is because if we over extrude, we will have it sucked into the machine and we can't measure how much length there is on it. So we're going to take it to 110. Well, that's close enough. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our filament. So a good way to be able to go from this is just from this edge here out to where your filament is. Being the fact I can't do this with more than one hand because I'm holding the thing to the other. You want to mark your filament at 110 millimeters from the point where it goes into your extruder. And I'm using black filament right now. I'm actually not going to do the whole process, but I'll give you a good idea of how to do it. So this should mark from the extruder 110 millimeters out. So use like a different colored filament or whatever. Use a small pen or a sharpie, something you can mark that's fine enough to be able to make so you can get a nice solid line. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to come down to our printer and we're going to go to control. We can either preheat PLA or ABS here or if we want to do just our or just our extruder, we can go to control, sorry, control temperature, we're going to go to nozzle, and it will increase that to whatever temperature you normally print at. For me, I print a lot here in Utah at 210, so I'll roll that to 210. and select. So that will heat up our extruder to 110. And as soon as that's done, we'll get back. All right, now that we're up to 10, so this is just fluctuating the last little bit there. So we're gonna do, I just marked mine with a piece of tape real quick, just so you can kind of see, and I pulled it out of my filament guide, which if you haven't printed one of these, I recommend doing it, because if you can see here, it actually will eat away at your extruder. So, I measured this out actually a little bit past 110 just for purposes of training. But measure out exactly 110 and mark it off. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come back to here. We're going to go to prepare. And we're going to say move axis. And we're going to go to extruder. And we'll just go by 1 millimeter increments just because we can go a little bit slower this way. So my value is at negative... 11 currently. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take negative 11, so we're going to go to, well, out of 100, so this is going to roll over the value. So take 11 minus out of 100, you're going to get, obviously, 89. So we're going to make this 89. So we're going to roll this up. This is going to start feeding filament through. So this is going to take its time here. Oh, so, 89, and this is going to take some time to catch up. But we're going to see here on our extruder, this is going to be feeding through, and it has been. So this is just going to keep feeding out that 100 millimeters. And so as soon as this finishes, I'll start the video again. Alright, so, obviously you're going to have a little mess of filament that came out, which extruded up exactly 100 millimeters. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to take our calipers, loosen them up, and we're going to take that in to where we can see exactly how far it came out from our extruder head to the point where it hit the tape. So, this one hand's kind of hard, so for me, for my angle, it's right there. So we're at 17.22. So, write that down. 17, oh, 17.22. And we're at a minus 10 because we added an extra 10. 
So that'll give us exactly 7.22. So if our extruder, our extruder extruded 100 millimeters and we still have 7.22 millimeters still on where it should have been right up to the end of the nozzle. So we are under extruding by 7.22 millimeters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 100 minus 7.22 22. So that's 92.78. So we're going to take that, add that into our value up here. So 92.78 or whatever your total is. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that total value and since our, our value that we checked in our settings, which since this is a new video, I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to go to your control motion steps per millimeter and we're going to e steps so that's the value I have currently which I wrote down here so that's 400 so what we're going to do is we're going to take our 100 because that's how much we extruded divided by what we actually extruded so 92.78 total we're going to times that by 400 so our new value we need to input is going to be 431.12. So we're going to come in here and we'll change that to 431.12. Mine's already calibrated. I just tweaked it for whatever. So change that to whatever value you got. And then we're going to go back to motion. And we're going to go back to control and store settings. And then one way you can check to make sure that everything worked properly is you can go in, turn off your printer, and then go back in your settings and make sure that all those values are exactly the same.